we're gonna replace the fuel filter and the other tool what we're using is the tool No room right here, so let's see if. Okay, here we go. It's a loose. Okay, it's loose. Make sure you put something on the bottom so it's gonna split. Okay. Let's see. Oh, okay. Gasket right here in the bottom, if you see. Careful, you leave this one here, replace it. Okay. And the new one. A fuel filter comes with two different gaskets. So it's big one is small, and the little one that goes on the top. All right. Installing the new filter. Okay. We got a new filter. Okay. okay, when you install in this filter, many times the gasket that goes under the bar is going to have on Let's see, here you go, right here, you see? The gasket, when you put in the filter right here, if you don't put, like, in holding, and then you press in this one, the bottom, the top one, the plastic, if you put together, sometimes the gaskets fell off, and that's the problem. Not like all the mechanics, but some of the new mechanics, they got a mistake like that, and the truck never starts. They got to remove again and take a look at the, the gasket, and the gasket fell off from the, from the plastic. So careful with that, make me that mistake, okay? Especially when, when you don't have no room, so you have to be very, very careful with that, right? Okay, we put it. The filter, new filter, we tighten it up. Now we're going to use this tool. We're not supposed to use this tool because we got it. It's, it's got to be tight by hand. So, so just tight a little bit, you know. Tight like you until you feel like it's okay. Okay, okay, that's enough. Okay, okay, okay. Now we're going to remove this one and we're going to fill a few into right here. Then we're going to tighten it up. Because you can change that gasket, then you'll be able to start up the truck, alright? See you in the next video.